When students pause and reflect on their St. Stephen's experience, the three things that come to their mind are the great teachers that they had here. The incredible place. And the sense of community that we all experience every day on the hill. We're all invited to be our own authentic selves, but we're a community of extraordinary individuals who are all connected to something bigger than each of us. I think the qualities that make teachers at St. Stephen's so exceptional are first and foremost rooted in love. And that love gives them the quality of being able to act when needed and put, you know, pull back when needed. That love allows them to hug you when you're sad, but straight to right if you didn't study for that exam. <laughs> I don't just think about the classroom teacher. This is a place where Spartans don't have to look very far to find examples of folks who, who give themselves tirelessly to this community. I often am asked to speak to students today in different kinds of classes, and they'll often ask me, what do you like about your job? And I'll say, I feel like I'm being paid to go to school. And they all go, ugh, that sounds like the worst thing ever. I think it's fantastic. I love it because I'm learning all the time, I'm meeting new people, and I think the excitement about that started here. The metaphor I used to describe the St. Stephen teachers are, they teach a person how to fish, they don't give you the fish. They want to guide you to the ideas, but they want you to get there on your own. They just have a way of, of getting you excited about learning. That's a St. Stephen's education right there in a nutshell, right? I mean, everything that started at St. Stephen's, I've carried out into my professional life. I know we always say things are big in Texas, but I've never seen a larger classroom. I cannot think of an independent school that is more linked, more tied to the land it sits on, whose identity is more defined by the real estate it occupies. It's a place that makes you believe that there is higher power, that there's beauty in the world, and to appreciate that, and really kind of encapsulates my appreciation of St. Stephen's itself. We have an opportunity here, not just to engage students in great recreational activities outside that help their mental health and that help their psychology and help their emotional well-being. We also have an opportunity to teach our students about the real challenges of caring for this planet that our generation faces and that, that our student generation will face. I think children that spend more time in nature understand how nature works. They understand how interconnected and interrelated ecology is and they begin to appreciate that and then they want to take care of it and I think it builds from there. The real goal, and I have no doubt about this, is that we're going to enrich their academic experience and perhaps more importantly, uh, we're going to find more ways to connect kids to each other and to the community and to the land. St. Stephen's was the first place where I really had the chance to meet and become friends with people who were really different than me, different experiences, different backgrounds, different thoughts, different ideas. I think St. Stephen's is kind of an incubator for all of that. I think what we do best is create a great community and give kids a sense of place and of belonging. I grew up in a small village in Honduras. I had the opportunity to go to boarding school and my parents, perhaps being old school, just put me on a plane and flew me to Austin all by myself. But the way that I was welcomed by the teachers, the fellow students, really made me feel welcome and truly became my family. You know, our goal is to never replace the parents, but our goal certainly is to create a second home here for students where they feel beloved and known and, and cherished. I loved interacting with all the kids from all over the world. My roommate was from Mexico. 
The kid across the hall was from Spain. You get to learn from those people. That is a beautiful thing, but we still have this thing that binds us together. Coincidentally, I met my wife here. It's a very special place. I always feel as though this is my home and this is my family. You know, one of the hallmark messages of St. Stephen's is, to whom much is given, much is expected. And I do think it's important for every member of our community to regularly pause and reflect on the many gifts we've been given. That's really what's at the heart of gratitude. I came from a space where I was consistently told that the dreams I had for myself were, um, weren't going to be achieved. And so teachers and mentors here that make sure to speak into me confidence and resiliency was transformational because they did so in such a manner and with such consistency that I began believing it myself and never stopped believing it. I think the big thing is I really found who I was as a person. It gave me a lot. I need to give some back so that current and future students can have that same experience. This place takes care of us, and we need to take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>